Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Watch this. I'm going to try and avoid all the carnage at the start. Contact already. It's barely been two seconds into the race. Contact again. Are we going to get contact? Yes, we are. There it is. Contact again. And uh, there's more contact and uh, yeah, more contacts and a bit more contact. And then, yeah, then contact with me. Obviously, I had to somehow get involved. And we go down to 23rd. The Ferrari is either going to come back on. Thankfully not, no more contact on the first uh, straight there. And then we are somehow behind a Vauxhall. You know you're having a bad day when you're behind a Vauxhall. The Lambo is just going to tap him wide and then just drive off the track as you do. Uh, so yeah, he just pretty much wanted to kill himself, I guess. Okay, so we have plenty of work to do in this, the McLaren F1 GT. What a car. The tune is by GSR. Lee Campbell, one of the best tuners in the game, or at least he's one of my favourites, because some of the tunes he makes are absolutely epic. Now watch this, this guy, the Brazilian on my right hand side in the Lambo, well obviously his tune doesn't have brakes because on that evidence um, he doesn't, well just no brakes in that car, clearly just remove them uh, just to save weight I guess, smashing everyone else off the track. Lambo goes defensive into the 90 degree left down the hill break a little bit late but i just about get round thankfully so that's 13th into the carousel very long 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 corner just waiting for the late apex there it is someone is off on the grass that's a subaru i'm through past him that's 12th now into the fast kink just dip your two wheels onto that curb to get uh, to give yourself a better angle through that fast right hander and that's giving me the speed to go past the 4 GT. And then we are looking at another Lamborghini. Quite a few Lamborghinis actually in S Class on this evidence. And just going quite wide. And uh, just looking at the back of the Lamborghini now, right on the back of him. Go a little bit wide through this one. Uh, just make contact with him. And then it's going to be a Hacken and Schumacher moment. Passing either side. That was pretty amazing. Into the final turn. We are ninth. That's not a bad lap, 23rd to 9th in one lap. And watch this transition here, guys. We're going to skip our entire lap, and it's going to be such a smooth transition. Look at that. So we've just skipped entire lap two. Uh, so lap two, we can just do one. Nothing really happened. We are time traveling today. Uh, so this is the situation we find ourselves in. A Corvette has just got ahead of us here. We are still in ninth. A couple of people have left the race, and we are homing in on a couple of cars. Uh, well, one of them's just gone straight off. I guess that guy wants to join the other guy who committed suicide in that wall on lap one. Okay, so guess what? Sixth place is on here. Sixth place. That's where I want to finish because that's where I always finish. It's the best position that you can finish. Now, into the big, big breaking point. Hooking up with the Apex perfectly. Look at that. This car, this tune's got good brakes, actually. Decent brakes. And, well, it's kind of got everything. I'd say top speed might actually be its weakness, surprisingly, for a McLaren F1. Um, the top speed actually isn't its strong point, but it is still good. It's not bad. Now, Corvette a little bit wide. I have an opening. Think better of it. I could have lunged, maybe, but I'm playing it safe here. And then into the carousel. Let's see how the cars uh, handle this one both of the cars so he's going to take a narrow line I'm going to take a wider one and come back for an earlier or sorry later apex and I could have got the power on earlier there but I would have gone into the back of him so I couldn't and then into the right uh, so he's gonna oh actually someone's gone very wide there come back across make contact with through the gap now that is pretty darn amazing and I've actually got the pass done here I'm into sixth place would you believe it into the right just gonna hang him out to dry on the outside just make sure he is on my outside all the way and yes he is until we get to the exit of the corner and I've filtered in in front of the Corvette just two corners left to go taking that one nailed on look at that break a little bit early here just to make sure I do get into the corner waiting for the apex there it is and we are through we're going to finish sixth place unless that Corvette is quicker than us but it wasn't on the straight on the last lap we're going to smash into the advertising hoarding there and the guy behind is going to spin out it looks like I've deployed advertising hoardings and just spun him out completely. It's like Mario Kart over here. But we're replacing the bananas with advertising uh, boards. I've wiped him out. We move then to Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit. 
This is a great circuit for racing. I'm going to go for that gap. Actually, no, I'm not. The Lotus wants to block me off. So, okay, you know, have it. I won't bother. Coming into the first turn, um, Lotus comes in out of nowhere. Corvette getting his muscles out. Get those elbows out, son. Smash everyone out of the way. Why not? Forget brake pedals. Brake pedals are for noobs. Just smash everyone out of the way. That's, that's the better option. Uh, we've got a Mustang just behind us here. And he's on my outside, or inside for this corner. But he's going to be on the outside for this one. I'm just going to edge him out wide. So he just can't get past me on the exit. There he goes. Filter in into fifth place behind a Nissan Skyline. Into the left and right hairpin. Or hair, chicane, sorry. I'm just going to go for a move. That is a lovely move. Just make contact. Is he okay? We're going to look behind. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, he's fine. So we're going to carry on with that one. Perhaps not the best overtake, not the cleanest one I've ever done. Opportunistic though, and the other guy didn't die. So yeah, whatever. Not too bad in the end. Into the hairpin at the bottom of the circuit. We're again behind our Corvette friend. Coming up hill into the Schumacher rest. We're going to dip our two wheels onto the kerb to give ourselves a better angle of entry. You see there, just pulling right up to the back of the Corvette. That Corvette does have good speed though, down the straight. So just about not being able to... I go past him into this one. He goes wide, and this gives me a chance around the outside if I can just get on my brakes nice and late. Yes, I can. We are through into third. First and second are gone there. I think one of them was a KTM crossbow, so I don't stand much chance in S class. Now, coming up into the chicane for the first time with three. That was a green Mustang coming up here. He's going to go up the inside. Decent move, I guess. Just going to tap him into the barrier. Almost. Well, almost into the barrier. There's that worrying moment when you tap someone from behind. And they're almost going to go into the wall, but thankfully he doesn't. Last corner here. And he's just going to hang me narrow. I, I forced him wide. He's forced me narrow there. So I can't quite go on the accelerator as early as I'd like. Now we can see the power of that Mustang. Look at him drive away. He's gained about 200 feet in the space of about 1,000 feet. So that is a pretty darn good ratio of getting away from me. Now first corner negotiated fine but we do have a queue of cars gaggling around behind us so they are going to be hungry to get past he just taps me from behind I go sideways and actually I think he's actually fucked himself up more than he fucked me up so I saw someone sideways back there and I guess that was the guy who tapped me now through the right hander of turn four I believe just going to get good traction off the corner that Mustang struggles for acceleration looks like but he does have top speed once it gets going has some serious speed just going to tap him from behind but I'm going to let him regain his composure here. Not going to make the most of that by going past him. So we go downhill yeah, for the second time into the hairpin at the bottom of the track. And, well, this car isn't. He's just going to drive straight off the track into the gravel. That is a common mistake. We see that one quite a lot, actually. People driving wide at the bottom of the hill. And again, we still have that massive queue of cars behind us waiting to get past. So my job here isn't quite done. It looks like first and second are absolutely gone. That is a beautiful line through there. We're going to move ahead to lap three. Now I've become under increasing pressure from the guy behind. What car is he in? Is that the Caterham or is it a Donkavort? I didn't quite glimpse, get a good glimpse of him there. But whatever it is, it's quick. And I've got my work cut out to try and keep ahead of him. Going for a late apex. Now in this situation, it's just about keeping calm, hitting your breaking points, making sure you just don't do anything silly. So I know my breaking point here, the start of the kerb, and then we're going to come back for a late apex. Just make sure you can't dip up the inside there. I think he thought about it as I just come across there. He respected that. Now into the Schumacher S, taking a very nice line. That pretty much settled the race, that, that line there, because I gained, as you can see, a good 100 feet or so over the line. Finishing second, actually, because uh, someone actually spun out. So not actually a bad result in the end. I think it was, again, a KTM crossbow winning the race. So no surprises in first place. So let's call second the actual first, because KTM crossbows don't count in S-Class. So then, here we go. The final race of the video. This was a very interesting one, actually. Rio... Um, mountain circuit I, I don't i don't know it's rio one of them into the first long left katie and crossbow out in the lead and i got the inside i do well to beat this guy i think especially around this kind of track up the inside he breaks too late i'm into the lead just cover him off into the tighter section 
we approach the chicane, I've got a decent gap already. Now this point, when you're in the lead of a race like this, you just got to forget about the guys behind. Just, just nail your breaking points, nail your corners, nail your apexes. Build that gap as much as possible. While the guys behind are battling, losing time constantly, you can just nail everything. There's no excuse not to because you're, you're uninterrupted. There's no one with you except for when you go into this one too quickly and almost, almost collect the tyre wall. Well, I did, but I didn't uh, spin around, luckily. We all know that these tyre walls are very, very grippy. And if you get them at the wrong angle, you spin out. Uh, luckily, I didn't uh, quite go into that one too quickly. So we are a good 800 feet ahead here into the 90 degree left at the bottom of the hill, grazing the tyre wall, grazing the barrier, sorry, on the exit. There's the gap. Are we going to skip to the start of lap three? Because that gap was eroded by this guy in the Hot Wheels Mustang of all cars. So this was a guy from the GFR clan. And he's just going to dip up the inside. And then uh, for the right hand, I have the inside. So, again, it's the same situation as the Nürburgring race I just showed you. You just have to keep your cool. And around, this, around a track like this, I have a better chance, I would say, because... Because of the bumps and because it's narrow and just gen uh, generally quite a hard track to overtake around. Um, you can see there he actually had the, he probably had the run on me. So going up the hill, he could have gone for it, but it's just so narrow up there. He just doesn't want to risk it. Sensible decision. Cover up the middle of the track there so he doesn't really have anywhere to go. Can't quite go past me there. He could go for the inside here. I went very wide. My driving wasn't quite as good once this guy uh, started to pressure me. It's so coming downhill. We've got a big breaking point here. I'm not going to go over to the right hand side over the curb because that just completely opens me up to being overtaken. And, and actually, I don't think it's much quicker. That was probably quicker just doing it like that. So it's getting very close and cosy now into the last two corners of the track. So just hooking up nicely with the inside. But you see here, he's just got so much power and he's able to just hang it around the outside in, uh, into the start finish straight. And I just pressure him into grazing the wall. I gave him space but not much and he, he couldn't quite keep his car on the road just grazing the barrier. He's going to lose a little bit of time there and I, I managed to keep first place and into the first proper sharp corner just managing to slot in ahead. Now this is where it's going to get very interesting because I'm going to deploy a very strange tactic of going into the wall and hoping that the other guy does it and he does. Well thank you for that because I was totally going to lose that race, but he's actually followed me into the tyre wall. Um, couldn't quite believe my luck there. So we're going to uh, finish this race in the lead, unless I smash myself off again. Uh, don't quite want to do that though. Once is enough. So round the final turn, we round the final corner of the race, and we win the race. But that is going to bring a close to this video. I hope you enjoyed it guys. The name of the tune is in the description below if you'd like to try it out. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Subscribe if you're new and you'd like to see more like this. Hit the like button if you did like the video and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.